Ken Crate, sir, Cam Betts Media. Leo alone, good to see you. Um, how do you feel as a captain of the team and getting set you're a couple of days from traveling down to your opener? How do you feel? Yeah, it's really exciting. Definitely looking forward to the opportunity to kind of put it all on show. Uh, show we've been working on all off season. Um, and yeah, just the start of another great season. You played a lot of Army football. You got 35 games in, 143 tackles. Uh, I think it was 100 tackles last year. How does it, how does that experience help you going into this year? Um, I mean, definitely just kind of having a good feel for the game, uh, especially the speed of the game. It's definitely different than it was in high school a long time ago and when you kind of first come up to college. Um, and also just being able to kind of share that wisdom with a lot of the younger guys, kind of tell them how to play certain things and uh, just get things sorted out. How is it uh, your uh, uh, fellow inside linebacker, Spencer Jones, uh, uh, your teammate there, uh, how, you know, getting a chance to play as a senior, getting healthy, and hopefully having a chance to have impact. What do you see, see uh, Spencer Jones this season being? Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited about it. Um, we got a lot of great guys, really in the linebacker room all together. Um, but Spencer, you know, he's, he's got this opportunity in front of him. I'm looking forward to see what he does with it. And I'm sure he's going to work hard to make the most of it. Um, pretty cool. We're both from Austin. It's kind of one of those things. It's a fun fact. But, uh, you know, I think our, our family is definitely looking forward to seeing us out there. And I'm, I'm looking forward to see what, seeing what happens. Excuse me. And just any any keys uh, to stop the uh, Louisiana Monroe offense Saturday? Uh, I think the main key is really just to play our game. Um, I know they got a quarterback that likes to run it a lot. Got some, a lot of transfers. Um, so at the end of the day, it's kind of hard to know who's who's going to be the standout guys on their team. I know number four is a great receiver, uh, but at the end of the day, it's just going to play our game. And if we do that, you know, we'll take care of it. Thank you. Yes, sir. Of course. Lord is him. Hey, Leo. That's uh, sounding like a nation hell yeah. Doing good. How are you? Good. Um, how long have you known Spencer? How, how long has that date back been? Um, I mean, I've known about him for a while. We had, we had kind of a media thing back in like the, the public school area back in Austin, Texas. So I knew about him for a long time. I really met him on my recruiting visit here. He was at prep school and I was obviously coming up on a visit to see him. Uh, ended up going to Rex, so we were in the same class. So you say. Do you realize that you guys had a lot of in common when you first met, or? Uh, I definitely, you know, we both cared about football a lot. We both kind of had a, a similar background playing 6 day Texas high school football. We uh, had a good feel for the game, and just a good with the playbook and kind of knew how to work hard in the weight room and all aspects. Uh, just being in a real like high school program really both prepared us both for that. I think we kind of tell that about each other when we got here. Nice, uh, just one last one. I do you have an experienced group back on defense, but one guy who might be getting his first chance is Trey Sophia. Um, what have you seen from Trey on the outside, and uh, what do you think he can do for you guys this season? Sure, another, another awesome Texas guy. Uh, I'm, I'm excited about him. He, he's definitely really fast, good edge rusher, um, and, and just been working really hard for this opportunity. It's the same thing. Super excited to see what happens with him. Um, I know he's worked hard for this opportunity. He's going to make the most of it come Saturday. Thanks, Lynn. Of course, sir. Hi, Leo. Ken McMillan from the Times Herald Record. How's it going? Good, thank you. Leo, uh, you know, obviously losing a piece like Andre Carter, um, Coach was refer referring to it earlier about how teams would cover him uh, a little differently because he was so dominant. With his absence, how do you think teams are going to attack you guys, and are you guys ready to sort of make those adjustments? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there'll be a little more drop back pass, a little more, you know, just standard play. I feel like a lot of things last year were a quick game, get the ball out, kind of run it away from Andre's side, rightfully so. Um, so, you know, probably a little more of a standard conventional game plans against us. Uh, um, and so I think it's just going to be about defending some of those deep passes that we didn't have to as much last year um, and just kind of holding our own up front, trying to get, get back, uh, stopping the run well. I know you're focusing on Army, but you know, how cool is it to see how Andre's done and how John Reddick has done of late? No, it's been great. And I know Elijah Riley also made the 53 man. Um, those guys have all been doing great things and representing us well. Uh, and all the great guys to have representing us. Leo, what's it like for you? Leo! Leo! You canceled the long thing, and now the season's here. What, are season opener a little special for you? Definitely. I mean, it's super, super exciting, uh, especially being my senior year, you know. It's kind of the, the first of the last, and you got to make the most of every day you're out here, even in practice, wherever you are. Um, so it's definitely turned into one of those things that you got to, you know, maximize each day. You're not kind of looking towards anything besides, you know, what you got right now. 
last thing, uh, can you just tell me what was your favorite aspect of preseason camp? Um, honestly, just being around the guys all day, kind of getting after it. I know, I like not necessarily relative to any other year, but this year specifically, it felt like everybody was just really like always happy to be there. Had a great attitude. It's just so much fun when you do work hard with guys who are having great attitudes about it. Um, and it was just a lot of fun doing that. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. Of course. You know, Seth. Perfect. Thank you. Have a good. Hey, thanks, Leo. Yes, sir. Have a good game Saturday. Okay.